Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download and install the live split mod. <laughs> and also, at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to set it up. The whole thing. The whole thing. Don't worry. I'm not going to skip out or anything. But uh, there is timestamps in the... There are st timestamps in the description and down below. And also on this video. So they're going to be separate into intro, downloading, and installing the mod. Or live split. And setting it up as at the end, and at the very end, it's gonna be outro. So you can go look at those. And also, if you can, please press that subscribe button because it does help me out a bunch. So press that subscribe button. Also, like uh, that helps with other people watching this video, so other people can click on this video on their recommended page. So please do that. Please press the subscribe button. It's free. Just do it. And uh, also, um. I guess that's it. <laughs> Let's get straight into the video, okay? All right, here we go. All right, now we're gonna have to start off by downloading and installing the mod. So we're just gonna go to our browser, which I'm gonna do Brave, cause it's probably the most um, most secure. Um, but we're gonna want what we're gonna want to do is go to Live Split and then pre and then Downloads. All right, so there you go, and you can I'll leave the links in the description for everything in this video. And I'll go to that, and I'll leave the link to this in the description down below. And now we're going to have to press on Live Split 1.8.16. We're going to press on that, and then it's going to bring us to this little thing where you're going to want to press Save. And also note that I actually uninstalled this thing completely for you guys. And uh, I just please consider on subscribing. You don't have to if you don't want to, but consider on doing it. Uh, so what we're going to want to do is bring this to our desktop just for ease of use and also for this video but um, what you're gonna want to do is bring this to your desktop and also make a new folder called live split alright so here we go live split and then just so you know it I'm just gonna do that so there we go um, and we're gonna drag this live split zip folder into our live split um, folder we just made and then we're gonna want to double click on that and get into the folder where we're going to want to extract every uh, every file in here. So um, we're just going to right click on this and go to... I'm sorry, you have to click on it and then right click on it. So then you're going to press extract all if you're using File Explorer to extract things. You can use 7-zip to extract here if you want. And just press extract all and it's going to, all, it's going to, it's going to extract all in this file. So there you go. We're going to wait for this to complete. It's 81 items. So... It didn't take too long for me. The last time I downloaded it did, so it might take a little bit for you to complete all 81 items, but that is fine. So, um, just take some time to do something else on your computer or something. And here it is. We're just, uh, here it is. So, we're just going to go right into this. So, we're, what we're going to want to do is double click on this live split .exe file. So, double click on this one right here, okay? Here we go. We're going to double click on it. And then it's going to bring us to this little safety page where you're going to want to press more info and then run anyway. This 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 happens. They just do this for the new version of Windows for anything you aren't. You just press yes or no on that used to. But now you just do this. So we're just going to press run um, run anyway. And uh, here is do, it's going to be black on your screen right now. But it's going to say, do you want to allow this app from an unknown publisher to make changes to your device? And it's fine because everybody's done this in their, on their computer, so um, it's all good, don't worry. But uh, we're just going to wait for the installer window to come up, which this is sort of the installer window since we just installed it. See how quick that was? Now we're going to start setting this whole thing up. So I'm going to X out all these pages. We don't need these anymore, so we're just going to set it up, okay? Um, so we got this little timer that popped up here. Now, um, what you're going to want to do is right-click on it. And then go to edit splits. So we're going to want to press on that. And then right here, you're going to be at this window. And you're going to want to press insert below. So I'm going to press it four time, uh, three times since there's already one here. So we're going to want to make, uh, we're going to want to make um, four splits, okay? And what you're going to want to do is double click on this one and go to uh, name it. Name the first one overworld with capital uh, capitalization. And then go to this second one that you just added and name it Nether. So all capitalization 
and then go to the third one and name it over world two all right with a space in between okay and then we're gonna want to go to this the last one and call it end all uppercase okay so um now we're gonna want to name the game that we're playing so go to this little drop uh we'll actually type in the name that you want so minecraft is mine you could be doing anything else on your computer it doesn't really matter but i went to minecraft java edition because i'm using java edition and you can you can do the run category or you can just leave it alone it's optional so it doesn't really matter now you're going to want to press ok and that should be good and now you have all these right here all ready to go but now we just we're not done with the setup but we still got a little bit to go so we're going to want to go to edit layout and it will bring us to this page where if you don't want the splits in there you don't have to have them I'm gonna get rid of the title. I'm gonna get rid of the splits because I don't want the splits. You might want the splits where you're gonna have them on your stream or something or something like that. Um, then we're just gonna minus that out. So plus and minus to add things. And the segment you can delete. And now we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to add segments or um, splits. You go like this and you go from li uh, list to splits or information and then delta text or something like that. And th that's all you have to do. So. Um, we're gonna press OK with that, and now it's just a regular timer. Yeah, we did we did change it, but we didn't. And now we're gonna have to go to settings, and uh, so we're gonna want to right click on it again, right click on it again, and then go to settings. So then it's gonna bring us to this page where it's gonna say uh, hockey's, um, and we're on the settings page. So um, what you're gonna want to do is go to number pad one. And use a hotkey that you don't have near you when you're playing Minecraft or some some other game, okay? So I'm gonna use this uh, page uh, T G up. Um, that's my hotkey because it's uh, far away from my keyboard as possible, and I like to do that. And also, I only use start split and um, start split, so I use just two of these hotkeys for my whole for, for my whole thing. So. Um, the next thing you need to do is go to reset and uh, use a hockey that you don't have near you again. So I use that one, which is PG down. I don't know why they have it on there, but uh, they have it as next. But it's PG down, okay? So that's what you have to do. And also, you can undo a split, but you, if you want to do that, I don't care. Um, skip a split, you can just skip it and then pause, which I don't use all these for for certain reasons because um you only need these these are not necessary so i just i just use reset and start split so that's all i use and then it works like this but i'm going to show you one more thing before we get out of this window and that's global key hotkeys so what we're going to do is going to check this box right here in global hotkeys and then we're going to press ok and also the last thing you need to do is um before you start timing yourself on minecraft is you're going to want to go to um edit splits i think let me see um and you're going yes it is edit splits then you're going to want to press activate okay activate and then it's gonna it's gonna have this little thing right here and you're gonna press okay and then it's gonna say deactivate don't deactivate it it's okay and um now we're here and um now you're ready to start timing yourself in minecraft so what people normally do, and you, this is probably what you've probably already seen this, but what people normally do is they bring it right here at the top of the screen, and they press the hotkey to start their thing, and stop. So so you can press it and then stop it, or or stop it. It doesn't really matter. But um, I can, you have to batter some. I don't know what that means, but I'll just press now. Um, I think you thought I was exiting at the thing. Um, but here it is. So I press start. And then, well, I guess you do need a uh, stop key, so we're just going to reset that. Um, all right, so we're going to want to go to edit, so right-click on it, and then go out, edit layout, or sorry, edit splits, and then you're going to want to add a uh, hotkey. Okay, so settings, I'm so sorry. Settings, you're going to want to go to, and you're going to want to um, go to pause, uh, reset, undo split, skip split, or pause. Yeah, pause, which is going to be my homepage thing. And we're going to press OK and that, and then that's how I stop it. So Or pause it, but that's how I stop it to check my time, and then there you go. 
you did your world record thing or <laughs> you're probably gonna set the world record probably um but there you go and when when you get out of this app and you're done for the day or night you can go like this to get out of it so you can go like this and you can exit so exit and then it says your splits have been updated and not saved so do you want to allow uh do you want to save the splits and you're going to press yes so you don't have to set it up every time you go live or or start timing yourself so what you're going to want to do is go to desktop if you want them on your desktop that's fine you can put them anywhere but we're going to we're going to create another new, another new folder folder where we're going to want to go to um just go to desktop and create a new folder called uh um live split live splits um live splits uh stuff i guess you can just call it I'm trying to think of something quick but um i don't know because i tried this last time and oh there you go see now you can just press save and there you go and then just press can't and then just press yes and you saved it i don't know if you should have saved it so there you go and then you just go in this uh, this thing every time and go into that one and it should work every time so we're just going to exit out of here and we're gonna press no and now we're gonna go into this one and you double click on that and then it brings you to the screen which you set up before so uh i'm just gonna start with the outro now so please like and subscribe because it helps out a lot and i'm gonna get to the big screen before i get to my outro so um just give me a second <laughs> thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoy the video and please give this uh a like if you liked it and also subscribe if you want to see more videos like this because i make a lot of videos just on how to download and install stuff so please like subscribe and do all that and press that bell notification because it so you're notified when my next upload goes and also i'm trying to live stream and this video is going to be premiered so you can donate to me if you wanted to and uh that's it for this video but there's gonna be way more in the future so uh uh, this has been Pixel Foraging, over and out.